It's now that a judge has overturned the state's heartbeat law. Doug Richards has more. Although the heartbeat law is no longer legally enforceable in Georgia, abortion providers say the full return to abortion services won't be immediate. Before Georgia lawmakers passed the heartbeat bill, Georgia allowed abortion services under the terms of the 1973 Supreme Court decision Roe v. Wade. When the Supreme Court overturned Roe earlier this year, the heartbeat law took effect, restricting abortions to about six weeks gestation. Now, a court has overturned the heartbeat law. It made physicians sigh that maybe we can return to providing the care that patients deserve. Mimi Zeman is an OBGYN who was among those in 2019 who asked state lawmakers not to pass the heartbeat bill. A Planned Parenthood spokeswoman says clinics have been able to return to providing medication abortions for up to 11 weeks gestation. But logistical hurdles are preventing full abortion services from returning one day after the court overturned the heartbeat law. Zeman says Georgia abortion providers will get busy very quickly. Currently, um, there's very little access to abortion services across the southeast. So I imagine if it's permissible again in Georgia, that patients would travel from Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, many neighboring states. The court ruling did open the door for the state legislature to pass the heartbeat bill again. But when it first passed in 2019, it barely passed the state house by one vote. Pro-life lawmakers are hoping that a court will reinstate it instead. In Northeast Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Medication can induce abortions up to 11 weeks. Beyond that, abortions up to 20 weeks require an invasive procedure. The state says it plans to pursue an immediate appeal of the judge's ruling.